can you all see me and hear me okay? Just give me a thumbs up so I know. Great, thank you. Okay, so if you have a blanket or a towel, it might be nice to use it today because we'll be on our knees for a good portion of the time. We're actually gonna start lying down on our belly today. So go ahead and flip yourself over, lie down on your belly and make a little pillow for your head with your right hand on top of your left hand and lay your forehead down right on top of that little pillow. And just take a moment here to feel the earth underneath you, to feel the earth underneath your belly as you breathe. And so it can be a very grounding effect to place our belly right up against the earth and to feel ourselves breathing. We can feel how the air moves a little bit more towards the back of the body with that pressure on the front of the body. So just take a few seconds here, deepening your breath and feeling the breath moving more towards the back of the lungs. And so the very first thing that we do in yoga is that we establish our presence. And our presence, our present moment reality is our breath. And so becoming aware of the breath brings us right into the present moment. And so note each breath that you take, the fullness, the depth, the texture, the rhythm. And see if you can allow each inhale and exhale cycle to be its very own journey. its very own exploration, deeper inside of yourself. And then keeping your forehead glued to your hands, think of lengthening your elbows forward so you start to feel the upper back start to lengthen and then start to lift the elbows and the forearms up off of the floor as you keep your forehead glued to your palms. Just note that sensation in your upper back. See if you can draw your elbows forward a little bit more and lift up a little bit more. Take one more breath here and then slowly release down and cross your right forearm on top of your left forearm so you're clasping your opposing elbows. Pull your elbows forward, lengthening your toes backward, and keeping the back of your neck long, so keeping your gaze down on your mat, start to lift your forearms and your elbows up as if you were creating a frame for your face. Lift your elbows up a little bit higher. See if you can draw your elbows forward a little bit more. Take one more breath in here. Good, and as you exhale, release it down. You're gonna take your arms out to the side like cactus arms, and you're gonna start to lift your left leg up and take your left leg over towards the right side. So you're coming into a twist. You can place the ball of your left foot down and take your left arm up to the sky if you want a little bit more. Good, and then slowly, gracefully roll yourself back over. Place your left arm down in that cactus shape. And slowly start to float your right leg up. Reach your right leg way back behind you towards the left side. And land the ball of your foot down. Perhaps consider elevating your right arm up to the sky as you breathe into that sensation, opening up through the left side of your chest. Good. And then slowly roll yourself back down. See if you can do so slowly. And this time you're gonna make a little pillow with your left hand on top of your right hand. Glue your forehead down to your palms, to the backs of your hands actually, not to your palms. And then think about lengthening your elbows forward as you lift up. Keep your forehead glued to the backs of your hands. 
see if you can get those elbows to stretch just a millimeter more and see if you can get the top of your sternum to lift just a millimeter more. Good, and then slowly release back down. Clasp your elbows again, this time the left forearm on top of the right forearm. Pull your elbows forward, lengthen out and start to lift up, keeping the back of your neck long, keeping your gaze down on your yoga mat. Trying to lift your elbows up beyond your ears. Take one more breath, get a little longer, get a little taller. Good, and this time as you lower down, extend your arms all the way out like a letter T. Yeah. And then you're gonna slowly start to lift that left leg up again. You're gonna roll over, land on the ball of your foot. And take your left arm up to the sky, and if you want a little bit more, you can reach back behind you towards the, towards the right side. Good, and then slowly, gracefully roll yourself back down. Extend your left arm and start to twist in the opposite direction. Lift your right leg up, land on the ball of your foot. And consider taking your right arm up to the sky and reaching back behind you. Good, and then slowly, gracefully, roll all the way back down. Place your hands directly underneath your elbows. So you have a 90 degree angle. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, stay on your knees, but press yourself right up to a modified push-up position. And then take your hips and reach them back into your heels for a child's pose. And let your hips sink down into your heels. Let your arms elongate out of the sides of your body. Lift up onto your fingertips and walk your fingertips forward a little bit more. See if you can get a little bit more spaciousness. And then root the entire palm of your hand down. Good, so as you inhale, you're gonna, like you have crazy glue on your palms, you're gonna drag your torso forward to that modified push-up position. As you exhale, you're gonna slowly lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. As you inhale, you're gonna peel your chest forward. Keep looking at the front edge of your yoga mat. Roll your shoulder heads back. As you exhale, release back down. Stay on your knees as you inhale. Keep your elbows pressing backwards. Lift back up into that modified push-up position. And as you exhale, take your hips back into a child's pose. And do that again. Inhale, shift forward to that modified push-up position. Exhale, super slow, lower yourself all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, pull your yoga mat backwards, lift your chest up. Exhale, roll yourself back down. On your inhale breath, nice and strong, stay on your knees, press yourself up to that modified push-up position. And as you exhale, reach your hips back into child's pose. And one more time, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower your belly all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, pull backwards, point your elbows backwards, lift your chest. Exhale, roll it back down. On your inhale, stay on your knees, press right back up to that modified push-up position. And as you exhale, take your hips back into a child's pose. Now if you need that blanket underneath your knees, now would be a great time to grab it. Place the blanket underneath your knees. And then extend your right leg straight back behind you. Feel the inner thigh side of your right leg spiraling up towards the ceiling. Cup your left fingertips on your mat and be aware that you're hugging that outer left hip in and stretch your left arm forward with your palm facing towards the right. And while you're here, you're thinking about getting as long as you can. So could you touch the wall behind you with the sole of your foot? Could your fingertips graze the wall in front of you? Good, and then slowly bring that hand back down and step your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand. Yeah? Good. And then start to walk your fingertips forward. 
to the inside of your right leg. So you're getting nice and long. I'm gonna turn my body around so that you guys can see me. Good. And then you're gonna walk your hands towards the left. You're gonna swing your left leg towards the back. Yeah? And you're gonna bend into your right knee as you try to push the floor towards the left. And then you're gonna come back and straighten out that leg. You're gonna do that a couple of times. So bend into your right knee as you try to press the mat towards the left. I'm gonna mirror you guys actually. One more time, press the floor towards the left as you bend into your right. Good, and then bring it back to that straight leg and rock your hips back and forth a couple of times. Good. And then while you're here, take a couple of rounds of cat and cow. So round your spine as you exhale. And as you inhale, lengthen your spine, reach your chest forward. Good, round your spine as you exhale. As you inhale, lengthen it forward. One more time, round your spine. And as you inhale, lengthen it forward. Now lift your right leg up, take it all the way back behind you and as far towards the left as you can, land on the ball of your foot. So your legs are crossed quite a bit here. Rock your hips back and forth any amount. You might not have a lot of space, but just explore what space you do have. Good, and then the next time your shoulders are right over your wrist, take a couple of rounds of cat and cow and just observe what the difference is in your hips with your legs crossed here. Exhaling to round, inhaling to extend. Good, one more time. Great, and then take your right leg, take it all the way back out towards the right. Land, sit your hips back towards your heels and rise up with your right toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Good, take your right hand to your right thigh and slowly side bend over. Try to turn the left side of your chest up a little bit more. Good, and then as you inhale, reverse the opposite direction. Allow your spine to twist towards the right a little bit more. And then take your right fingertips down to the outside of your right leg and take your left arm straight up to the sky. So it's kind of like a triangle pose, right? Yeah, see if you can make the right side of your waist grow longer, stretch it out. Great. And then slowly spiral that left hand down. Allow your left foot to kick back behind you again and fold forward into a hamstring stretch. Good, and then rebend your right knee. Keep your fingertips down on blocks of the floor. Stretch forward, lift your chest. And as you exhale, straighten your right leg. Think of the right hip crease moving towards the back of the room. As you inhale, rebend your right knee, lift your chest. And as you exhale, straighten it out. One more time, bend your knee here. Good. And then your, your left hand is down to the inside of your right foot and you start to spin your right arm around and around a couple of times like you're doing the backstroke. Good, and then the next time you spin your arm around, allow it to bring you all the way up so that your right arm is reaching back behind you, your left arm is reaching forward in front of you. And then continue to spiral your arms, one and then the other opening up through your shoulders. Good. And then the next time you're back in the twist, your left arm is reaching forward, your right arm is reaching back behind you. Drop your right arm to the back of your thigh, lift your left arm up tall, and then slowly cross your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right hand on top, and you come into that twist. Find your breath. And then press your palms together. Come back to the center and float your arms all the way up to the sky. Grab a hold of your left wrist, 
Slowly pull off towards the right so you breathe into the left side of your body. Good. And then take your arms back up. Clasp your right forearm on top of your left forearm. Woo! Sometimes we fall over in yoga. Lift your elbows up. And see if you can press your chest forward as you pull your elbows backward. Good. And feeling that heart opening, feeling your shoulder blades pressing into the front of your body. Release your arms, circle them around behind your back, right thumb on top of the left. And as you inhale, send your chest up towards the sky. And as you exhale, start to lean forward. Make sure your back toes are tucked under and pop your back knee up off of the mat. Reach your knuckles back behind you. Release your interlace of your fingers. Take your arms straight out to the sides and slowly bring your hands down to frame your right foot and then step your right foot back into a plank pose. So you're nice and strong in this plank. You can always drop your knees back down to your mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, either from your knees or your toes, lower yourself halfway down. Pause. As you inhale, find your back bend. You can take baby cobra with your legs down or upward facing dog with your legs down or up. And as you exhale, take your hips up and back into downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of the day. So start to pedal out your feet. Shift the weight from side to side. And then imagine you could push the front of your yoga mat towards the front of the room. And imagine you could take the front of your thigh bones into the back of your thigh bones. And imagine you could let your heels sink down into the floor. Good, and then slowly lower your knees back down to your mat. Good, so you're gonna extend your left leg back behind you. You're going to cup your right fingertips and you're going to extend that right arm forward. Get really, really, really long. Good. And then bring your hand back down and you're going to step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. This is the part where I turn around so you can see me. And you walk your fingertips forward. You just feel that lengthening happening. Good. And then walk your hands away from your left foot. Swing your right foot so that it's facing behind you. And start to bend into your left knee as you try to push the floor towards the right. And then shift yourself back. And do that a couple of times. You bend and you push. So you create that counter movement from your upper body and your lower body. Let's do that one more time. And then come all the way back until your leg is straight. Rock your hips back and forth a couple of times. And then pause when your shoulders are above your wrists and take a couple of rounds of cat and cow. And then you lift your left leg up, you bring it all the way around behind you, you place it as far over towards the right side as you can, and you rock your hips a couple of times here. So you have quite a big cross at the top of your thighs. Good, and then pause again when your shoulders are above your wrists and take a few rounds of cat and cow. And just notice those structures that maybe you haven't thought about, that we haven't found breath, or awareness in yet this morning. And imagine that you're watering a garden with your breath, all these little nooks and crannies in your body. Good. And then extend your leg back out towards the left. Sit your hips back into your heels so that you can rise up and turn your left toes to face up towards the ceiling. Good. Take your left hand to your left thigh, side bend your right arm over your ear. Try to turn the left side of your chest up towards the right side of your chest. 
Good, and then go the opposite way. Take your left arm up to the sky. Turn your body towards that left leg. And then take your fingertips down to the outside of your left leg. Take your right arm up to the sky. Good, try to make that left side waist grow longer. Find your breath. Good, and then slowly revolve your right hand down. Kick your uh, right foot back behind you. Fold your chest forward into that hamstring stretch. Good, and then re-bend your left knee. Lift your chest up, get a nice big stretch in your right hip flexor. Exhale, straighten your leg. Think of that left crease traveling towards the back of the room. Inhale, shift forward, lift your chest. Exhale, hips back, elongating through that left hamstring. Let's take one more round like this. Just finding your own flow, finding your own rhythm. Try to synchronize breath and movement together. And then re-bend your left knee. Place your right hand to the inside of your left leg. Take your left arm, start to circle it around and around and around. And the next time you're circling, allow it to bring you up. So you're reaching your left arm back, you're reaching your right fingertips forward, and then you just go swimming. You're doing a really nice backstroke. There you go, opening up the shoulders. Next time your right arm is reaching back, your left arm is behind you. Drop your left hand to the back of your thigh, reach your right arm up to the sky, and cross your right elbow on top. Place your left hand on top of your palm, and try to move your heart up towards your thumbs. Keep that strong pressure between your palms. Use your core to, re -cent to centralize yourself back up, so you're here and then float your arms up to the sky. Grab a hold of your right wrist. Slowly pull up towards the left-hand side, breathing into the right side of your body. Good. And then lift back up. Clasp your left forearm on top of your right forearm. Pull your elbows up as you release your inner upper shoulders down. And as you lift up the elbows, try to reach your heart like you're creating a tall window Try to reach your heart through that window. Good, and then circle your arms around behind you. Interlace the left thumb on top of the right thumb. As you inhale, send your chest up towards the sky. As you exhale, slowly start to fold forward, tuck your back toes, and pop your back knee up off of the mat. So you think of squeezing the top of your inner thighs together, hugging your left hip in, Extend your arms out to the sides and place your hands down on either side of your left foot. And then slide your left foot back to meet your right. You're in a plank pose here. Take a couple of rounds of shifting yourself back into downward facing dog on your exhale. Inhaling, shifting yourself forward, maybe even rounding your back to come forward into plank. Exhaling, reaching your hips back, try to stretch the yoga mat towards the front of the room. As you inhale, find your wave to come back forward into a plank. Do that one more time. Take your hips up and back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then as you inhale, shift forward into the top of a push-up. Feel free to drop your knees down. As you exhale, lower halfway down for Chaturanga. As you inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. And as you exhale, take your hips up and back into downward facing dog. And you can move your blanket or your towel aside. Pedal at your feet one more time. And then take as many steps as possible. So this is like a very slow meditation walking your feet forward towards your hands. And when you get there to the top of your mat, make two fists, set them up at between the highest part of your two arches. You know your feet are inner hips distance apart. Bend your knees enough that your belly and your thighs can connect 
and again, grab your opposing forearms, right forearm on top of the left, and allow your forearms to pull down towards the earth. Think of lifting the sides of your hips up taller, but keep your belly and your thighs connected. Good, and then circle your arms around behind your back. Clasp your right thumb on top of your left and stretch your shoulders open. Squeeze your shoulder blades, let your heart reach forward. And as you exhale, let it fold back in, release your interlace, clasp your left forearm on top of your right. Belly and thighs connect as the sides of the hips try to get taller. Keep pressing into the soles of your feet. Keep exploring how much length. So we don't just do it once and then go, cool, I did it. You just keep exploring. And then reach your arms around behind your back again. Interlace your left thumb on top of your right. And one more time, allow your shoulders to open. Maybe reach your chest forward so you get that lift of your heart. And as you exhale, fold back down. Let your knuckles move towards the front of the room. Good. <clears throat> and then drop your hands onto your lower back, massage your lower back a few times. And then slide your hands down to the back of your legs, so you're just massaging out your legs. Go from your lower back all the way down your legs, hamstrings, calves, shins, ankles, feet. One more time from your lower back, hips, hamstrings, quadriceps, IT band, calves, peroneal muscles, ankles, and feet. And then either fingertips to the floor or to your shins. As you inhale, lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, fold back down. Press down into the four corners of your feet, and as you inhale, rise up with a long spine. Reach up to the sky. As you exhale, bend your elbows, lift your chest up. Inhale your arms back up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Good. Surya Namaskar A. So as you inhale, circle your arms, reach up to the sky. As you exhale, bend the elbows, lift the chest up. Inhale, take the arms back up to the sky. As you exhale, hinge and fold forward, following your own breath. As you inhale, lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, step back into a plank pose. Feel free to drop your knees to the floor. As you exhale, lower halfway down for Chaturanga. As you inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. As you exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. And so we started this class with the belly down on the floor. Now we can feel our hands and our feet as our foundation. So imagine you could lift up out of your hands. Imagine you could root down into your feet. It's almost like you have superpowers and you're shooting your superpowers down into the earth through the palms of your hands. And then at the end of your next breath, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step or jump forward. As you inhale, lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, fold back in. As you inhale, lift up, rise up, reach for the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. So we're gonna do that twice more. Inhale, circle the arms, reach up to the sky. As you exhale, cactus the elbows, lift your chest. Good, inhale the arms back up to the sky. As you exhale, hinge, fold forward, long spine. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step back. Lower down through your vinyasa. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Try to rip your mat in half if you're an upward facing dog. And as you exhale, take your hips up and back into downward facing dog and re-root down into your foundation. I always say this downward facing dog gives us an opportunity to look within. Imagine you were gazing into your belly or into the bowl of your pelvis or maybe even into your own heart. Again. And then lift up high onto your tippy toes. Bend your knees, look forward. 
step walk or jump to the top of your mat. As you inhale, lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, fold back down. And as you inhale, circle your arms, reach all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, imagine you were bringing a ray of sunshine straight down through the center line of your body. One more round, inhale, circle the arms, reach up to the sky. On your exhale, cactus the elbows, lift the chest. Inhale the arms back up to the sky. As you exhale, long spine hinge and fold forward. On your inhale, lengthen your chest. On your exhale, make your way back through your vinyasa, breath by breath. Moving slowly gives us the opportunity to be cognizant, to be aware, to really feel our body and what needs to be watered in that garden with every breath that we take. So find your way back into downward facing dog and let your downward facing dog be very active. So it's like you're pressing into the knuckle of every finger to get a little bit more length. You think of the sides of the hips like someone's pulling them back. Good, and then lift up high onto the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, look forward. Step walk could jump to the top of your mat. As you inhale, find that length. And as you exhale, fold back in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, think about what you're bringing in as you bring your hands to your heart. What would you add to your consciousness? Just take a moment with your eyes closed to just be with yourself, to just be present. And release your hands down. Good. Okay, I know how you all love tree pose so much, so we're going to take a brief little intermission in our flow and practice tree pose. So shift the weight onto your left foot. Take your right foot out in front of you. Turn your inner thigh so it's facing up towards the sky. And bring your foot either to your inner thigh, or your inner calf, or your inner thigh. And make sure you don't sink your left hip out. Press your hip in at the same amount of energy you press your right foot against your thigh. And then bring your hands to your heart. And try to be non-judgmental. Try to just be present with whatever's happening for you today. Because every day is a little bit different when it comes to balance. Can you find your breath? And then can you expand your arms up towards the sky? If you're making a victory sign, scoop your belly out. Make sure you're not puffing your ribs. Good. And then like you're pushing away any anxiety, nervousness, fear, lower your arms down all the way. Your palms will flex, you push everything down, and you release. Good. And then shift the weight into your right foot. Bring your left foot out in front of you. Externally rotate your thigh as much as you can. And then bring your foot to wherever you're practicing. Make sure you're not sinking out so you have an equal amount of pressure with your right hip firming in and your left foot pressing against your thigh, bring your hands together. You guys know you can always use a kickstand. This is not like an accomplishment, like I did tree pose today. You do tree pose in your intention, in how you relate to the present moment and how you accept what's happening in this moment. Good, and then take your arms up into that victory sign. Keep scooping your belly out. And then turn your palms to face down and start to push away anything that may have been plaguing you. Anything that might have been coming up. Flex your palms, push it all the way down into the earth. Lift the crown of your head. Great, and then release. Beautiful. And then you're at the top of your mat. As you inhale, circle your arms, reach up to the sky. 
As you exhale, bend your elbows, lift your chest. Inhale, take your arms back up to the sky. Exhale, hinge, fold forward, long spine. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, you can take it through vinyasa, or if your body is warm, you can just take it straight back into downward facing dog. It's really up to you. your right leg up to the sky and as you exhale step your right foot to the outside of your right hand yeah and then walk your fingertips forward again like we did in the beginning so your hands your arms your shoulders are to the inside of your right leg good and then you're gonna walk your hands back in and you're going to straighten that right leg at the same time you seal the outer edge of your left foot down. And you find that heel to arch alignment so that your right heel bisects the arch of your left foot. Take your left arm up to the sky for triangle pose. Good. And then take your top arm and stretch it over your ear. As you press down into the outer edge of your left foot, you stretch through your left fingertips. And maybe you take your right arm up to match as well, like you're holding a giant beach ball out in front of you. Good, and then bring your hand back down and you're gonna revolve your chest down so that you're coming into a pyramid pose. Step your left foot in just a little bit. Your left toes are gonna face the left front corner of your yoga mat. And take a couple deep breaths here. Good, and then with your fingertips on either side of your right foot, as you inhale, re-bend your knee, lift your chest up to the sky. And as you exhale, straighten your right leg, press into the mound of your right big toe. Inhale, re-bend your knee, lift your chest up to the sky. As you exhale, straighten that leg again. Last time, bend your knee. You're on the ball of your back foot. Your left hand is to the inside of your right foot. And you start to spin that right arm around and around a couple of times. Let's say three. And on the third time, you let that carry you all the way up. So you're in a twist with your left arm reaching forward, your right arm reaching back behind you. You start to go swimming again. Backstroke. And then the next time your left arm is reaching forward, your right arm is reaching back behind you, drop your right hand to the back of your left thigh, take your left arm up to the sky, and then take your twist, cut your left forearm with elbow across, place your right hand down on top, and as you squeeze the very top of your inner thighs together, think of your elongating from that line, reach through the crown of your head and feel your left lung reaching down towards the floor, and your right lung reaching up towards the sky. And then keep that strong pressure between your hands. Lift up, draw your low belly in. Good, and as you inhale, float your arms up to the sky. Feel like your arms are being lengthened out of the sides of your body. Catch a hold of your left wrist as you inhale, get a little longer. And as you exhale, pull your left arm off towards the right. Good, inhale the arms back up to the sky. Clasp your right forearm on top of your left forearm. Lift your elbows up. Imagine you're creating a tall rectangle from your elbows to the sides of your waist, to the sides of your hips. And then try to reach your heart forward through that space. Good. And then float your arms up to the sky and then seal the outer edge of your back foot down warrior two. So you still want to look for that heel to arch alignment. Your left toes are turned in roughly 10 to 15 degrees. This is where you get to make some choices, yeah? So you can stay in warrior two and just develop that quality of steadiness. Or you can stay in warrior two and you can start to move your body and explore. So you can do a traditional dancing warrior or you can just get a little bit creative and move your body and feel what wants to move. And 
you guys can keep doing whatever you're doing, or if you're feeling particularly strong today, we're gonna go for warrior four. So you're gonna reach your right arm forward, and you're gonna float your back leg up off of the floor with your arms spread wide. Your left toes are facing your screen that you're looking at. And then whether you took this or not, back to warrior two, and then straighten your right leg, pivot your right foot, lift your arms up to the sky. Great, and as you exhale, fold forward. So just like we did before, you're gonna press the floor towards the left as you bend into your right knee. And then you're gonna shift, you're gonna bend into your left knee as you push the floor in the opposite direction. And just do that a few times. Yeah, good. And then find your way back to the center. And imagine you could squeeze your legs in towards one another. Some of you guys might want to take a headstand here. Some of you guys might just want to let your spine spill out from the bowl of your pelvis. Good. So if you're in a headstand, come on down. Walk your hands back towards your right foot, pivot so that you're in that low lunge. And then your left hand down, your right arm up to the sky, you slowly transition into a side plank. You can always put that bottom knee down. And then stretch your top arm over your ear. Good. And then find your way back into a plank pose and decide if you'd like to take a vinyasa as a cleanse or just take your hips up and back into downward facing dog to establish more of that steadiness. Great, inhale your left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, and turn around, see me, and walk your fingertips forward. So your shoulders, your torso, your arms are all to the inside of your left leg. Good. And then you're going to walk your hands back in and you're going to seal the outer edge of your right foot down as you straighten into your left leg. So you have that heel to arch alignment. You take your right arm up to the sky. And then you take your right arm and you stretch it over your ear. And maybe you add the left arm as well. And then find your way back, revolve your body down, adjust your back foot, so step in in a little bit, for pyramid pose, your right toes are facing the right front corner of your mat. Keep pressing into the mound of your left big toe, see if you can make your left leg feel like it grew longer. And then bend into your left knee, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten your left knee, draw your outer left hip crease back. Couple more times, bend your knee, lift your chest, inhale, exhale, straighten your leg, fold forward. One more time, bend your knee, and then your right hand down, your left arm is going to make those circles around and around. On the third circle, allow it to pull you all the way back up so you're in a twist and continue to swim. Around and around and around. Good. And then the next time your right arm is reaching forward, your left arm is reaching back behind you, drop your left hand to the back of your thigh, lift your right arm up to the sky. And cross your right elbow across to the outside of your left thigh. Place your left palm down on top. And reach your heart towards your thumb. Squeeze the tops of your inner thighs together. Good, and then keep that pressure between your palms to connect to your core, to communicate with your core, and lift yourself back up. So as you press your palms, your belly knits together the two sides. Good, and then float your arms up to the sky, catch a hold of your right wrist, take an inhale, get longer, and as you exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale the arms back up to the sky, 
Clasp your left forearm on top of your right. Pull your elbows up. Visualize that tall rectangle and try to press your chest forward through that window you're creating. Good, and then float your arms back up to the sky. Get really long. Seal the outer edge of your back foot down. Open it up for warrior two. Here we are again. So you have choices. The choice doesn't have to be the same as what you did on the first side. You could decide now, I'm going to be steady, or you could decide now that you're going to explore. You're going to move around and just look for any movements that feel good in your body. Stay cognizant of your breath. And then if you're going for warrior four, you imagine that you're being pulled forward towards your left fingertips, you float that right leg up, and you turn your chest towards the screen you're looking at. You turn your right toes towards the screen in front of you. And whether you took this or not, find your way back into a warrior two. Straighten your left leg, reach your arms up to the sky, pivot your feet, and as you exhale, fold forward. Same thing, so you're gonna bend into your right knee as you push the floor away towards the left and keep shifting. Try to really integrate your upper body and your lower body together so that you're utilizing the strength of your upper body to build more capacity for, for lengthening through your lower body. Good, and then find your way to a wide leg forward fold. Think of lifting up through the inseams of your legs. Think of the center of your pelvis directly in between the highest part of your two arches and do whatever feels right here. You can just stay here. This can be a very good pose for decompressing, for releasing some of the stuff that's been circulating. You could always take a headstand. If you're here and you want something different, you can also walk your fingertips forward as you try to stick your butt straight back behind you coming into a very wide downward facing dog, so just onto your fingertips. You really feel the lengthening of your spine. Good, and then wherever you are, find your way back to the wide leg forward fold. Walk your hands in front of your left foot. Right hand down. Left arm spins up to the sky, you roll to the outer edge of your right foot, and you step on top for side plank. You take your left arm over your ear, stack your left hip on top of your right, and then slowly revolve it down. And if you want to take one more vinyasa, go for it. You don't have to. You can simply go back to downward facing dog. And hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, and bend your knees, come down to your mat. Separate your knees out wide, toes, big toes touch, and sink your hips back into a child's pose. So you're sending the breath more into the back of your lungs. You're exploring those unexplored pockets, potentialities, capacities. Good. And then when you're ready, lie all the way back down onto your belly. Reach your arms back behind you. Place your fingertips down on your yoga mat. Keep looking at the front edge of your mat. Roll your shoulders back so you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then lift your hands up and imagine you could touch the backs of your palms together behind your back. And then imagine you could reach your toes back so long and then float your legs up with the inner thigh side of your legs lifting a little faster than the outer thigh side. See if you can get a little bit longer. See if you can lift the top of your sternum a little more. Good, and as you exhale, release it down. Make a pillow for your forehead again, but turn your face to one side. And then this time, reach your arms forward with 
with your palms facing one another. Keep looking at the front edge of your yoga mat. Imagine you were trying to lift a block up off of the floor. And then float your feet up and see if you can reach your fingertips a little further forward, reach your toes a little further back, lift your belly button away from the floor. Take one more breath. And then place your other palm on top and turn your face to the opposite direction. Now you can take either of those variations again, or if you're feeling pretty open, you bend your knees, you reach back, you catch the ankles or the shins, and you make sure your knees aren't splaying out to the side. That's really important. So you want to make sure you're not compressing your lower back. So your knees are, your legs are parallel to one another. You start to press your shins backwards so that it peels your chest up off of the floor. And then you start to float your thigh bones up. So you're, rest, so you're balancing on your pelvis. Whichever back bend you're in, take one more breath. And slowly release. Just allow your forehead to rest on the backs of your hands. Feel your belly breathing into the earth again. Good. And then place your hands directly underneath your elbows and press yourself up to a modified push-up position. Sit your hips back and swing your legs around. So you're going to come to a cross-legged position with your right shin crossed in front of your left. You're stacking your knees on top of either ankle. Okay? Inhale your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, just take your fingertips down in front of you. Walk your fingertips forward. Breathing into your lower back. Breathing into your hips. Good. Walk your fingertips back in. Extend your legs out in front of you. Take your fingertips behind you. Bend your knees. Lift your hips up off of the floor. Take your right arm over your ear. As you exhale, place your hips back down. Place your hand back down. And as you inhale, go the opposite way. And as you exhale, release back down. Good. Cross your left shin in front of your right shin. Stack your knees on top of your ankles. Strongly flex your feet. Sit up with a tall spine. Lift your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, fold forward. Walk your fingertips forward. Root your sitting bones down. Feel a widening to your lower back and an expansiveness to your hips. And walk your fingertips back in. Extend your legs out in front of you again. Land your hands behind you, fingers face backwards. Lift your hips, inhale, lift the right arm over your ear. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, opposite side. Exhale, come back down. And then extend your legs straight out in front of you. And by straight, that doesn't mean that you, they're not bent. They're just extended in front of you so that you can sit up with a tall spine. So if you notice that when you push them down, you sink backwards, then keep them bent so that you can keep moving your back body into your front body. And then reach your chest forward and fold forward for your final forward fold. Place the soles of your feet down on the mat. Reach your arms forward. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way down onto your mat. Once you land, cross your right leg over your left. Extend your arms out to the sides. 
Let your knees fall down towards your left side, gaze towards your right. Use the squeezing of your knees together to create a little bit of additional stretch to the outside of your right hip, your IT band. Good, and then bring it back to center, switch the cross of your legs, and let your knees descend towards the right as you gaze towards the left. Squeeze your legs together. Feel how when you draw everything in towards the midline, it creates a little bit more of a long line that you can twist around. Good, and then bring your knees back up. Uncross your legs, hug your chin, uh, your knees in towards your forehead, lift your shoulders and your head up off of the mat. Take a big inhale here and hold your breath. Feel how full you can be. Imagine you could keep expanding into that balloon. And as you exhale, release everything. Come into your final resting posture. So it can be Shavasana, or it can be a seated meditation, whatever you prefer. And so if you're in Shavasana, just allow your body to get really heavy. Allow your body to spread out and take up space on the floor. So in this body temple that you live in, and hopefully during this time, you're finding more habits that support this body temple. It's like you've just cleaned the temple with all of those breaths that you took. And now you just get to be here in this magnificent body temple, right here, right now in your own magnificence. If you're in a seated meditation, make sure that you're rooting down through your sitting bones and sitting up with a tall spine. You're thinking of the light shining down into the crown and illuminating into your heart. is the most important part of our practice. This is when we invite the peace and the tranquility in through the stillness that we're able to create. And we're able to create this stillness because we cleaned out all of those cobwebs, all of those little nooks and crannies in the body temple. We're using our breath and our awareness. So let's just be silent and still together for a few more rounds of breath. And if you're lying down in Shavasana, you take whatever steps you want to take. You could stay lying in Shavasana, right? Like there's no need to get up. But if you're ready to get up, go ahead and find your way to a seated position. You could take the next 10 minutes, that's totally fine. We all meet here in the seated position. And we bring our hands together in front of our heart in a gesture of unity, even though we're not physically together. We are together in this practice. We are together in this collective experience that's going on right now. And we all get to reflect one another's magnificence. We all get to reflect each other's hope and resilience and strength. So slowly allow your eyes to open. Namaste. you guys so much for practicing with me. I hope you had a wonderful practice. It's my pleasure and my honor as always to be able to share this practice with you. So thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day.